wearing a ridiculous hat. <laughs> hey guys, it's Sophia from Migrate Challenge. It's Saturday, I think the 3rd of October. No, I'm not doing Vlogtober. I've talked about it before. I just can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like daily videos, daily editing, it's just too much, you know? I mean, if you remember, I work full time. I got all the things to do. Um, so no, no Vlogtober this year, but I'll continue filming on the weekend. So I didn't do it last weekend. On Saturday we went um, apple picking and then on Sunday we finished some stuff in the yard, which I'm going to show you in a second. But today's a big day because I am doing a task I have never done before and um, I'm actually pretty excited, which I don't know why because it's not an exciting <laughs> thing to do. I'm finally dealing with the blacktop. So I have a uh, asphalt um, driveway and parking space in my house, well on my property. It's got cracks that needs to be filled um, and it needs to be entirely resealed on the top. I don't think it's gonna last another season if I don't do it now. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Well, psh, what business do I have showing you how to do it? I've never done it before. So we're gonna learn together how to do this. Um, I'm always trying to inspire people to do things themselves. This could probably, in my area, I've already priced it up. It would be between $1,500 and $2,200 to have it done uh, by professionals because they would level it very nicely. They probably would come in with the machine and bring me like a brand new um, layer of asphalt, which I'm not gonna do. So if I was having somebody do exactly what I'm doing, it probably would be 800 something dollars. I spent using my Frenchie and Tubby money, I spent about uh, $75 on all the things that I need for it. Um, so I'd say it's a good saving but I'm locked in for the entire weekend. So today I am cleaning the driveway uh, and the parking space. I'm just going to remove all the debris and I am filling in cracks, making it nice and flat. And then I have a bucket of quick patch. I have some areas that have curved in a little bit. One of the reasons is that we had uh, the Lexus, which we no longer have but we had a non-working Lexus car that was Scott's father's car um, on the driveway for about three years, not working. <laughs> Eventually I had enough and I told him get rid of this car. So we finally got rid of the car, but the tire left um, four little dents from the sheer weight of the car on the driveway and then lo and behold what do you think we do we bring in the hhr which stayed there non working for about a i don't know a year or so um hence the reason why it got ditched it required way too much money to repair it uh it was not worth it so ditch the uh, hhr and now i have those four dips that need to be filled in so today i'm going to fill in um potholes they're not really potholes they um, how would I call it? Dent, I guess? Um, yeah, dents. Dents in the driveway and all the cracks. So why do you need to do that? Because a crack means water stays in there and at night in the winter or even when in the day when it's really really cold, ice will form and you all know that ice expands and as a result it makes the crack bigger and bigger and that's how potholes, you know, happen. Um, so I don't want to get to a point where I will have or will need a professional to come in and actually rip the top and give me a new top. So I have to address this issue now. <laughs> I gotta do it now. It's better to do it early spring or early fall because you're not dying under the sun and um, the temperatures are just right for this kind of job. Everybody's doing it right now in my area. Everywhere you go, people are redoing the blacktop. So I'm redoing my blacktop. What is Scott going to do? He's going to finish painting the deck. So I'm gonna take you outside and show you the rest of what I've done so far on the property. Here are the boys bringing back the dogs. Um, I'm ready. Today I'm patching holes and we're patching dents and filling cracks. Tomorrow I'm resealing. So I just want to show you some progress that we've made with the yard uh, since the last time. Um, you can see that the grass is growing 
it's rained profusely um, in the last uh, yeah it's growing with the weeds by the way <laughs> it's grow it's rain uh, profusely in the last uh, four or five days and it's really given a boost uh, to both the weeds and the grass so I have to treat that but the trench in the back worked really really well um, I had a conversation with mom about the fig tree which is losing all of its leaves so I had to do a little um, conversation with her and she told me it's normal it's shock is that what you call it um, and we know there's no problem with it because the ones on the top are not damaged at all and believe it or not there was already little figs on it and they grew and we ate them they were purple and delicious so this is what's going on um, during the winter I'm probably gonna have to wrap it with jute I think that's what you call it and then I want to share the asters I didn't think they were going to bloom this year they were very very late but we have uh, plenty pollinators on it and they are super super pretty love the asters and I have another uh, group over there but they keep on falling so I don't know if I need to tie them or not let's go in the garden because I gotta show you a few things so I cleaned up um, the vegetable garden quite a bit uh, this week I got rid of everything that was uh, gone so we got about four four or five uh, butternut squash and then of course the zucchini is all gone look at my Swiss chard it's looking really really nice um, these are overflow of mesclim you can see it here I'm not touching it it's obviously um, delicious for some bugs I'm not sure which ones and we got some peppers left we got uh, bell peppers over there that's left and we have a lot of eggplant still growing um, I let go of some of the tomatoes but all of this has been cleaned up and cucumbers are gone and then the sunflowers are gone I have some cherry tomato left I'm keeping them here because I still have cherry tomatoes that need to uh, ripe or ripen whatever you call it see the eggplants okay but we finished this and that was a lot of work uh, not only did we finish this but we also finally painted this area here which we had not finished the last time so all of this here has been stained um, if you remember that was not completed the last time I did the deck and we got around to doing it so pretty happy about that if you're not on Instagram and on Facebook this is the first time you see it so what did I do here uh, underneath the gravel is about a foot so there's about a foot worth of gravel and the landscapers fabric underneath it so the spout which is really small if you can see that it's a small spout so it's not getting a lot of water the water is being redirected into this little riverbed here which I've on purpose uh, curved to make it look more organic and then created the beds here yeah that's baby le chiffre years ago chewed that up I gotta replace it uh, there's gonna be plants in front of it so you won't see it but anyway I put the uh, rubber edges here and on this one and the other bed I actually sprinkled the preen which is a weed preventive and we've done that two weeks ago and it seems to be working because um, the layer oops I take that back <laughs> there's a weed right here uh, the layer of um, mulch is not big so what is this going to be oh yeah and those two pots uh, the street finds um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those but anyway this is gonna be an overflow of the vegetable garden um, and there's going to be flowers and plants that are both um, shade and scent so partial shade I guess we'll have some uh, maybe like a big hydrangea here and some alums and I'll put some iris flowers you know things like this originally I wanted to do a rose garden here but um, I don't know I want to be mom says flowers need to be seen <laughs> so uh, the bottom line is that area here used to be just a patch of grass that was useless so now I have um, an additional garden and we call it the secret garden so 
this is what it looks like right now. Um, so let's look at the black top. I want to show you the cracks. So we're talking about some serious cracks here uh, that need to be cleaned out first and I have to fill them up. So these cracks everywhere. I'm going to spend the entire day doing this. First I got to remove the leftover dust from having five cubic yard worth of gravel <laughs> that was here. And these are the dents I was telling you about. I don't even know if they're really going to show, but that's a dent right here. And then there's another one there. They're not huge, but I would like to patch them. And all of this here needs to be clean because I can't do anything with that unless it's clean. And the edge here between the garage and the blacktop needs to be totally clean so that I can uh, fill it up as well. And I have to do that, all the cracks, all the way up to the street. So it's going to be a long day. Uh, what do I have for that? I have this crack filler for asphalt driveways. Uh, you use that with, you know, your regular gun. I have this to spread it. And then this is the super patch uh, latex um, for the potholes it's upside down because when you're at the store these things are stored for a long time and they tend to settle so I put it upside down to kind of help with getting all the good stuff um, to the top and then I have to go get the sealer later on Home Depot was already out of sealer so you see I have some now that's a real pothole right here okay so you see this got to be patched probably with the one that's already put together, not the ones that I'm going to put with a gun. Um, but I have some serious cracks where the water goes into the uh, uh, French drain over there. So if I don't do that this year, next year, this hole here would probably be this big. So this is kind of like the whole maintenance part nobody wants to deal with, but it's got to be done because it's going to cost you a lot of money for repair. And here's another set of cracks here that I need to fix, you see? It's everywhere. And to be honest, when we purchased the house, I don't think um, the blacktop was brand new. It might have been sealed maybe three or four years prior to us buying the house. And we've been here going on um, 10 years, 11 years now. So it's definitely overdue as a task. There's some people in my area who actually do that every single year. I don't think I can, but anyway, let's get started. So what I've done here is uh, remove as much as I could with the broom, but now I need to go at this with the spatula here and I need to loosen up everything that's in here because I need to have a really clean surface in order for me to fill this big crack here. And there's some people when they have too big of a uh, crack they will fill it up with sand, so I'm not too worried about dirt. I'm worried about pieces like this, like top of acorn, uh, little branches, stuff like that. Because that will create um, air pockets. So I'm putting this back in after I've removed the big chunks. This is the patch uh, that I'm going to use for this area here and I'll use that for the potholes as well. So what I'm going to do is just fill my crack with this thing and then I'm going to have to uh, 
temper it just to flatten it and then I'll seal it. So right now what we're doing is cleaning up um, everything and trying to remove as much dirt as we can and as always it's the prep work that takes the longest. Um, we still have areas here where the water is staying so that's good because it's telling me where I have not potholes but you know dips or whatever. Um, you can actually start doing the work with the patching when it's still damp, you just don't want uh, standing water and you definitely don't want dust, so this driveway's got a long way to go. I don't know, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to seal tomorrow. It's already 2 o'clock in the afternoon here. I have a lot of cracks to fill and I'm going to start with 3 o'clock? 3 o'clock. Alright, I'm going to start with this one. Yeah, so it definitely looks like I'm not going to be able um, to finish, so... Here's one crack. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. If you can see, I can't see anything. All right. So you basically get your gun. All right. And this thing here would um, go black when it's dry. Okay, so you just fill it in in your cracks. You try to get as much as you can. If you got little areas around it that need it, you just go in. I have so many cracks, about 10 of those. Watch how I'm not going to have enough. Okay. It's very fluid. And once you have the cracks filled, you just go like this. And you flatten everything. And obviously I gotta add more over here. Now remember this is a repair job, this is not going to make the driveway look like it was just redone. I'm not going to have a 100% flat surface. I'm just trying to prevent the cracks from getting larger. This 
this particular one I should have done with the uh, touch, but there we go. Time Scott is on the deck and he's putting an overcoat so that next spring everything is nice. Some of the paint peeled off. When did we do this? Two years ago? Oh, uh, no. Was it? Two? I thought it was last year. No, I think it's two years ago. I don't know. It's, it, it hasn't been long. It hasn't been long, and you see some of the paint. I don't know if you can tell. You can tell. see it in the middle over here. Over there, you can see it. It's peeling off, so we got to put another layer. We did two coats. I guess it needed three. Uh, <laughs> so here comes the third coat. All right, I need to put the camera on the charger. I realized there's no way I'm going to have um, time to seal this t tomorrow. Um, so I'll have to come up with something else for a video. Um, no problem, plenty content, well at least right here, because um, I'm just on this side and I still have to do all the cracks that are um, on that side, so it's going to take me a while. Um, between today and tomorrow I'll do all the cracks and then next weekend if we get good weather, hopefully I'll be able to seal. This stuff's got a cure anyway. Um, some of it says three weeks. Uh, listen, they don't spend three weeks doing the uh, asphalt on the roads, okay? Like, really? <laughs> and they do the cracks. I don't know about that. Well, it seems that it takes three weeks, but really they don't. Like, they take the stuff out one day, they, uh, you know, or they patch one day, and the following day, next thing you know, it's resealed. So we'll see. Uh, all right, let me put the camera on the charger. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it's 6.30 and uh, I'm done. Um, I actually was able to patch 80% eh, of the cracks um, and Scott and I just finished cleaning up the rest of the deck. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So he's painting, whoops, he's painting the deck, right? He did one coat on this side. Uh, tomorrow he'll do a second coat. And you remember I had a ton of pots and I had a table and whatever. All right, so I removed everything. There's nothing left. See, everything is gone. No pots, nothing. It's ready for winter. All I have to do now is, um, all I have to do now is pretty much fold the table, put it to the side, and, oh, it's the cat. I see a cat somewhere. <laughs> um, you know, flip the table over, put the cushions in the garage, cover the barbecue and there will be nothing else and next spring 
when I'm ready to put the deck back together, guess what? Table, chair, barbecue. That's it. No pots. Why? Because I don't need to have pots on the deck. I have a garden. <laughs> I have a real garden. Um, so I put two pots here. You can see one here and the other one over there on the other side. So one is going to be chives. And I still have chives in it. Um, yes, the rooster made it here with Mr. Bunny. So this one will have chives and this one will probably have mint which means that this mint here is going to go somewhere else. Um, the rest of the pots are in the back upside down, except for this one. It's plastic, it's fine. Uh, but in the meantime, all of this is done. So anything that was a big crack has been patched. And there was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot of cracks. In particular over here, going towards um, the French drain and then you saw me do this area over here and I had a few areas like here and these um, that were big potholes well not really big they were kind of dips let's call them dips so we did this one and that one and then you see it's still a little wet right um, here's another crack that I filled up and fascinating stuff, isn't it? Here's another crack. Let me go towards the front here. Here's another crack right here. And then one that goes across. See, my problem is uh, Ralph and Beth, as much as I love them, have a uh, sprinkler system. Um, and it gets my driveway wet. And as a result, I get those big cracks and here's another one right here i don't mind um and then this one i patched with a little bit of the stuff so the driveway hello the driveway is done scott we shouldn't seal tomorrow okay we should do that next weekend okay um i'll figure out what i'm gonna do tomorrow i guess we're walking then well i am all right, give me a second. Let me put the camera away. I'll be right there. Okay. Oh, and the cat is ready. See, she follows them. You want to see a cat walk with dogs? There you go. <laughs> go ahead. She follows us all the way and all around the block uh, when we walk the dogs. So she gets plenty of exercise too. Anyway, I'm done. Um, tomorrow, I'm installing shelves in the kitchen on the window. You know I have one shelf. I'm going to install two more, and that's where my corning wear is going to go. And a lot of you are going gasp <laughs> right now, and that's okay. Um, you know I love my corning wear. So I will see you in the next video. Probably going to be some shelf setting. I still have um, the mop bucket thing to do as a review and a giveaway. So I'll probably do that and the shelves tomorrow. And then next weekend we'll seal. It will give seven days. Um, hands are pretty dirty. It would give seven days of full curing. Hopefully it won't rain. I'm pushing it with the timeline as to, you know, the deadline as to when I can do this um, but it is what it is you saw me pretty busy this summer I just needed to remove all that uh, gravel so I will see you next time I'm gonna go wash my hands and walk my dogs enjoy a cup of tea and that's it for me bye hey it's me and guess what click that thumbs up if you really like this video thumbs down twice if you didn't you can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.